Jeremy Arell. I am 31 years old and I am a black belt under Roberto Coher. I've been a lifetime martial artist. I've got about 25 years in martial arts. My uncle got me into martial arts when I was very young. Um, he's done Taekwondo, Judo, uh, and Japanese Jiu Jitsu. So that was my in. You know, I always kind of looked up to him. Uh, Around 14, I started getting into Taekwondo. I got a little bit more serious with my training. Then I moved into Jeet Kune Do Concepts, uh, also at 14. Did that for five or six years, and then got into boxing, kickboxing. Kind of wanted to do MMA. And so then I got into uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. My instructor at the time suggested that if I was interested in MMA that I should work on the ground game. And so I found myself at Alliance Jiu-Jitsu in Charlotte. Uh, I also am a certified PE teacher. I have a degree in health and physical education. Relax, stagger yourself, swing those arms. Sarah Witten, I'm 46, and I'm a purple belt. Relax, switch. This is the only martial art that I've done, but prior to doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I've always been a fitness junkie. I've always done something, whether it be a boot camp, whether it be a running club, some type of fitness, whether it be workout at home. I've always done something fitness related. I'm just off soon, but I'm a John Jones fan, so I was happy that they gave yeah. it. Yeah. My name's Ian Young. Uh, I'm 28 years old, and I am a blue belt here at Great Grappling. Uh, I lived a pretty, I've always lived a pretty active life. I, I do a lot of outdoor stuff, a lot of trail running, um, kayaking, and mountain biking. Uh, I have to admit, when I first started, after, after college, first started the professional world, got a little lazy. And, uh, and martial arts have really kind of brought me back out of that. So I do a lot of running and, and working out now as well. Class schedule, typical night is about three hours. First hour, 6.30 to 7.30 is a curriculum. That's where I've taken a lot of the moves in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and I've broken them down into a structured approach so that people can learn the techniques that are gonna make them successful. He, he flattened me out. I want the underhook, you know, my bridge over isn't working. So I frame on the face and I do get up on my side, but this underhook isn't an option. If I have space is there, I'm gonna take it. Underhook's pathway to the back, but I, I couldn't get the underhook, so I'm framing on that arm. From here, I'm gonna arch my back because I wanna start to control that wrist. Don't try to control here, everything's too crunched up. Maintain a good structure on this uh, arm right here. Arch the back and move that hand down. Different way of doing it, guys. Now, I am gonna lead my chest up and over. I do get good control of this arm. Now, I am still on my side. One of the mistakes that people make here is that they try to stuff their head underneath the body while they're uh, flat on their back. Not gonna work that way. So I do have a good grip here. I am gonna to start to allow him to pass, and when he starts to pass, I'm gonna bring my head underneath him. Now, the head underneath him is, is the number one important thing. Number two important thing is that this bottom elbow pushes on the far hip. Remember, that's what saves us from the far side arm bar, because he's gonna try and beat us around the head. If this elbow goes to the floor, he can't do that. And by lifting the other elbow, this whole structure right here is connected. So when my head goes under and I start to lift that elbow, you can see that it puts my other elbow on the floor. From here, we're going to come up into that head mount position. Remember, my shin is dropped over top of the bicep and we want to maintain a good Kimura grip. My name is Damar McBeth, I'm 40 years old, and I am a white belt. Well, in martial arts, uh, I've been, I've taken Taekwondo for around 13 years. I'm a third degree black belt in uh, Taekwondo, uh, a deputy black in combat out of Keto, uh, and I've always done extra other sports uh, like flag football or a little bit of wrestling.
My name is Aaron King. I'm a purple belt and I'm 30 years old. I was into a lot of boring sports as a kid, I guess, at like bowling and stuff like that. Uh, never was into a lot of martial arts related sports or anything. Um, got into working out and fitness in general, just lifting um, when I got out of high school and then just randomly kind of came across jujitsu and started getting into that then and then just steamrolled into a lot of other martial arts. How do we pass this? I had a, a couple training partners in Brazil that gave me absolute nightmares with this. I would spend eight minutes in this position trying to pass. All right, so I took a private with <coughs> not a Gordo. He showed me all, all of the, the class points. You know, collapse the knees and stuff and that never worked. And I drove, I drove him hard. And then like in the last five minutes, he's like, oh, or you can do this. And I was like, why didn't you leave with that? That, that just makes so much more sense than all this other stuff. So that's what I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna, we're gonna skip the crap that doesn't work all the time, okay? many people that take Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I fell in love with the sport. Grappling is a very addicting thing. It's not one of those things that you have to sell. You either love it or you don't. And I was one of the people that loved it. So uh, through my whole college career, I was doing two a days. You know, I was going in the morning, I was training at night, uh, get, just getting as much mat time as I could. And after graduating, I continued teaching uh, on the side and I was training on the side. And I decided that I wanted to do it for a living. So I moved to Brazil. Uh, while in Brazil, I, I acquired some more of the you know application skills that I needed. I combined it with my teaching skills from physical education. And when I came home, I opened up the school. Well, my wife brought in a flyer um, offering a free class uh, or a free week of class. Uh, and, and the school was right across the street from my house. So I just had to take it. It was actually a fluke. I had looked for a lot of places in Charlotte to train at when I was going to move up here, knowing that I needed to find a place to train, but um, had kind of came across it online, but hadn't really looked into it yet. And then my wife and I were just driving around one day, happened to drive down this road, turned around, saw Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, walked in. Jeremy was grappling, asked if I had my gear unpacked already, and I did. I came right back and trained that day. So that's that's how it started. Up, I can't I can't get over it, right? I can, but well, let's just say I did, right? Well, what do I do from here, right? They collapse on the legs. No, 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 go back. When that happens, stand up. I know that's revolutionary, guys. You ready? <laughs> this is not knee shield. This is a crappy open guard. All right. Now we can start working on if you want to collapse on those legs and start to pass but get your knee off the floor. I actually trained at two other schools in the Charlotte area and uh, just while training one day I was talking to some friends and uh, one of the guys lives in the Fort Mill area along with me and he told me about Great Grappling opening up and uh, I came and checked it out even before we were doing um, uh, before we were doing normal classes just open mat and I loved it and I've been here ever since. I've known Jeremy for several years and actually I've known him since he was a high level blue belt we trained together at an academy in Charlotte and from that point on, fast forward several years, he had gone to Brazil in search of his black belt and then when the academy in Charlotte ended up closing down, Jeremy was, that was at the same time that Jeremy was opening up his school here and it just seemed like a good fit because I knew Jeremy, I was comfortable with him, I knew that it would be a good fit for me because it was close to home and that he would be a good instructor. So that is how I find great grappling. Number one, thread the hand through, turn the body. If that doesn't work, stand up. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Line up. About here, drink some water. We're going to drill it up. You got about a minute and a half. Another sir, more sirs, ma'am, ma'am, sir, sir, jump. 